Thank you. Thank you for um, saving our husband and um, being such a hero. Tonight only on nine, an Illinois family wants to reunite with the man they say saved their loved one's life. Darren Pyle had a massive heart attack while driving on I-71 South in downtown Cincinnati last month. His family says a good Samaritan stopped to do CPR until an ambulance arrived. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan shares their search for the man behind that life-saving act. She beat on his chest hard enough to where he, he did take a couple more breaths and then he stopped breathing. The Pyle family was terrified. Those were going to be Darren Pyle's last breaths. The 52 year old husband, father and grandfather was in Cincinnati for a wedding on November 21st, driving downtown on Interstate 71 when he had a heart attack. He jerked the wheel a little bit and she said, what's what's going on, dad? And so when she looked over, he had grabbed his chest. Darren was driving with his daughter Alyssa, who was able to put the car in neutral, eventually stopping and blocking the middle two lanes of traffic. She called 911 and got out screaming for anyone to help. The family says a young couple in a dark colored truck stopped within seconds. And immediately ran over to Darren and jerked him out of the car and got him onto the interstate and immediately started doing CPR. Alyssa never got the couple's name, but she remembers the man wearing a t-shirt for a fire department and the girlfriend wearing a University of Kentucky sweatshirt. The pile say some sort of search and rescue truck also stopped to help direct the ambulance to Darren's location faster. That God had brought a whole lot of people together at, exact the right, at exactly the right time to um, Help save my husband's life. Darren spent almost two weeks intubated at UC Medical Center's ICU and another week in inpatient rehab at a hospital closer to home in Illinois. He's still going to outpatient speech therapy to strengthen his voice, but says he's thankful for everyone who's helped him along the way. We just, we really would like to find the fireman to tell him thank you. The family thinks that Good Samaritan might be from Kentucky, but so far the Kentucky professional firefighters haven't had any luck tracking him down. Because he has um, forever changed the trajectory of our family's life. And we would just like to personally thank him. Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.